And well, that's your in this video. You can have a look at the Glastonbury weekend, the weekend of the uh, Formula One Grand Prix at Silverstone, uh, the final weekend of June. This is ranging from the 27th to the 30th of June. And then we're going to go on and have a look at the first weekend of July, which encompasses the Brentwood Festival and the uh, finals weekend of Wimbledon. For a go on video, just to be advertising. There's keyword ads on all my pages at gasmobiles.com. Uh, some of the words will be displaying green, and if you run your cursor over those words, uh, they'll display ads. If you click through those words, though, then you support gasworthbeats.com. I get a, uh, uh, the website gets a uh, little bit of revenue from you clicking through those ads. You're supporting the website. And thank you very much uh, for doing that. That's how I can keep the website going and hopefully in time uh, develop it. So, starting off with uh, Thursday, the 27th of June, first day of Glastonbury, and we're looking at a ridge of high pressure there uh, over the country. That's quite a nice looking chart, actually, but we have got low pressure out to the north and west of the country. But for uh, that to but that day, Thursday the 27th, actually we're under just about high pressure. Um, so it's mainly dry, some rain up over Scotland, but for much of England, including Glastonbury, it's mainly dry. And temperature's not particularly exciting, uh, up to around 20, 21 degrees, I think. But actually, just to explain, this is still the low-resolution end of the GFS model. Um, so the temperature and precipitation forecasts are to be relied upon. And really, we're using this for trends to uh, see what's going on. We are starting to inch towards a more reliable time frame now, particularly for the first couple of days of Glastonbury, but it's still 10 days away, still some time away. Now, as we move through to Friday the 28th, then we're starting to see uh, low pressure beginning to move in off the Atlantic. That ridge of high pressure, nice ridge, is starting to slip away to the east. So we're starting to see outbreaks of rain coming in to the west through the course of Friday. So that rain quite heavy. That would be threatening Glastonbury through the course of the day. Temperatures, again, really quite disappointing. Uh, upper teens to low 20s at best. Low pressure's right over the top of the country as we're going into Saturday the 29th of June. So that's really quite a poor-looking chart. There so quite a lot of rain associated with that low pressure gain. Remember, we can't use this for uh, reliability. This isn't uh, the reliable end of, uh, of the model. Uh, but the suggestion is that there's rain around uh, with that low pressure. And obviously, temperatures are going to be cool, just need to be big to upper teens uh, for most of us. Going into the final day of Glastonbury, and of course, this is the actual day of the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. High pressure is trying to ridge in off the Atlantic, but we're in this showery, cool, northerly air stream. And uh, yeah, there's still quite a bit of precipitation around still quite a few showers in the east as longer spells of rain but all areas at risk of showers um, and temperatures again rather on the cool side disappointing upper teens to low 20s at best so that's quite a disappointing uh, run of the GFS month tonight for Glastonbury and for British Grand Prix obviously it's a long time away but it's disappointing to see those sort of charts and after uh, last night when I said I was a bit concerned about what we've seen last night I'm not entirely surprised we're going to have to monitor this over the uh, next few days Going forward to the first weekend of July, this is the Brentwood Festival, and for Friday, the uh, 7th of July, high pressure is ridging in noisy here off the Atlantic, still showering the east, but uh, much of the country dry. Quite cool though, not particularly exciting temperatures. Um, for Saturday, the uh, 6th of July, uh, yeah, high pressure is still sitting there across the country, more or less centred to the west, so not a heat wave, temperatures just in the upper teens to low 20s, mainly dry and fine. Uh, and going through to Sunday, the 7th of July, again, the CFS model, this is the experimental seasonal CFS first model by the way again the suggestion is that high pressure dominating uh, keeping it mainly dry uh, but rather cool so that's a good update for uh, Brentwood and uh, the finals weekend of uh, Wimbledon not so good though for Glastonbury I'll be doing more updates over the next few days thanks for watching bye for now